all together. And the first time we were together as a group was Tuesday. It was the first time we all got together for the first time. So we've had two rehearsals all together. This will be our third attempt. Hopefully there will be no casualties today. <coughs> we're going to begin with a little medley from our book, Hot Cross Buds, uh, Claire de la Luz, down by the station. Yesterday's rehearsal was the same way in here. Um, so it's nice to know that, that they can actually focus and work real hard in this large of a group with 90 plus people and 
only one adult. So that says a lot to what you've done with them at home to make our jobs a lot easier here at school. So for that, I thank you a whole, whole bunch. All right, we are going to go on now to a Christmas song. And this is Jingle Bells. I wrote this arrangement specifically for the band. I hope they enjoyed playing it. I hope you enjoyed hearing it. Some students in here are older than others. We have uh, fifth through eighth grade students in beginning band. The fifth graders I only see a couple times a week. And the sixth, seventh, and eighth grade beginning band students, they have their class at the end of the day uh, every day. And we also have several students that are in beginning band that are also in concert band learning a secondary instrument, or in some cases a third instrument, uh, if they've studied another one prior to this. And that's one of the strengths of our program is that we can have students uh, take multiple band classes, learn many instruments, and you know, have a, a diverse collection of ensembles that they can play with. We have students here that are playing the jazz band, chamber ensemble, concert band, beginning band, and jazz band B on different instruments, maybe in all of those different groups. And that's a, a great thing that we have here at Acres School that I don't think a lot of places can offer their students, so I'm really happy with that. All right, going on to our next one, we're going to do Jolly Old St. Nicholas, and Old MacDonald Had a Farm. I like to call this one Jolly Old St. Nicholas Had a Farm.
Right, but next are Crusaders March for Excellence.
And before we clear our last selection for today, I have some words to give out to some students that are doing an outstanding job. As I said, fifth graders I only see a couple times a week, and uh, we're working on our test, working through the book. In order to get an A in fifth grade band, you had to have passed at least three tests uh, the first trimester in order to get an A, and these students both passed nine tests the first trimester, and they're doing an outstanding job. And so, first of all, I'd like to have uh, Leah Hollis come on up. And Kenya Stubbs. And then my 6th, 7th, and 8th grade students, I see them every day, and they also can come in at lunchtime to practice and pass tests. Some come in at lunchtime after school, they want to do them before school, I can't get them out of the room, and I tell them to go home, I'm stuck there all the time. So the first student, uh, all these students have passed at least uh, 23 tests. Yeah, 23. Some of them have passed all 24 that I have, but they're doing a great, great job. First student to come up, he's definitely one I can't get to go home. I have to kind of bribe him and get the candy and stuff to get him to leave my room sometimes. And that is Conrad Williams. And these next two students, I know they definitely passed all of the tests in the beginning of the book. Emily Bell. And also passing all the tests, Peyton McCree. selection for you. This is Good King Wenceslas. It's going to feature all the different sections of the band. So have your cameras ready so you can take a picture of when your student section jumps up.
Thank you very much for coming out this afternoon and supporting your students' involvement in our music program here at Baker School. Hope you have a very happy and safe holiday season and a happy new year. Thank you again for coming.